Coming to you from the Sacramento headquarters of the California Tow Truck Association, this is the CTTA interview series. Learn more about us at ctta.com and don't forget to subscribe. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another installment of the CTTA interview series. I'm Eric Gould, and we are joined today uh, by Dan Shergi of Shergi Insurance. Dan, welcome. How Thank are you doing? You. Great. Thank you for having me, Eric. I appreciate the opportunity to get a chance to speak to everybody. It's our pleasure. Um, We're really excited uh, at CTTA because we just entered into a partnership with uh, Shergi Insurance. Um, So they have a a workers' comp insurance program called TOCOMP. It's offered through Benchmark Insurance Company, uh, and it is the exclusive workers' comp program of the California Tow Truck Association. So uh, we've been really excited about that partnership. Um, so if your company has been struggling with, uh, you know, limited coverages, high workers' comp premiums, um, Shergi Insurance, they're your lifesaver yeah. for sure. Um, so I'll let Dan get into the kind of nuts and bolts of the company. Uh, But they have over 30 years of expertise and commercial experience, very focused in on workers' comp. Um, So they'll help you close your claims and and preserve financial integrity uh, and do all of that stuff. Uh, So we're going to put some contact information. If you're not already impressed without Dan speaking, we're going to (laughs) throw some contact information up on the screen. You're welcome. Appreciate that. So impressive already. Yes, exactly. uh, Hit the email, hit the website, phone number up there as well to give them a call because they can definitely help you out. Um, ShergiInsurance.com slash tow. It's a good spot to check them out. Uh, so, Dan, let's get into it. Let's talk a little sure. bit about um, how the company started and, and, and where it is now. Um, I understand that your father actually started the brokerage. Yes. Uh, my father started the brokerage after being a, a company guy, mm-hmm. if you will, for the insurance industry. He started in the uh, early 60s in the insurance world. And I went a different path because I don't think any kid grows up going, boy, I really want to grow up and be into the insurance business. (laughs) So uh, I had a little detour and played some professional baseball for six years. Yes. Yeah. For the Florida Marlins organization. No way. Um, And the draft and everything? Yeah. I, I, I was lucky enough to get an opportunity to get a scholarship to college. And then from there, I was fooling people that they thought I was good enough to play professionally. (laughs) So I got to do that for six years, but uh, didn't make enough money to, you know, retire like Mike Trout just signed this big contract. So now I wear a different uniform, as I tell everyone, the Churgy Insurance uniform. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so that's kind of the background on the company. Yeah, my dad had just a very small brokerage. He was kind of tired of the rat race of what he had been doing, so he just wanted to service his clients really, really well, keep it kind of small. And then, of course, when I came in, I had different ideas. And now we've grown to, uh, we're up to about 15 employees now. And uh, we're covering the entire state where he just kind of covered Southern California. That's awesome. So, and and you'll hear later, we're actually moving into other states. So, All right, a little expansion Yeah, on the yeah. Horizon. So there's a little teaser. Well, that's everybody. exciting. Yeah. Well, let's get into uh, uh, the TOCOMP program specifically. Sure. Um, you know... Uh, why Why would Shergi Insurance kind of be interested in writing coverages in the towing industry? How did that come about? Well, as I was mentioning, we've grown, and one of the producers we brought on is, is Steve Sanders, who you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, by the way, we got a great staff. I just want to emphasize that. And it's, it's not just Steve. I don't want to just single out one person. Um, but he had a background in automotive like I did. Mm. And we've been writing a lot of similar industries for so long. And towing was one that he was involved with, uh, with a previous brokerage before he came on board with us and had the idea that we need to look at this industry again because it's been totally underserved. There has been a limited number of carriers writing the business. And we saw a great opportunity and knew some of the towers and talked to them. And it was a process where we talked to, again, then Benchmark Insurance Company and Blake Baker, who you've met, Mm -hmm. um, and he agreed that this was an industry that we wanted to get involved with. But we wanted to do it the right way. So we we started to really do our due diligence and notice that the CTTA members seemed to have the safety programs in place. Um, They really were caring about their employees, the drug um, 
you know, no tolerance of drugs mm-hmm. and, and alcohol right. at the workplace and things of that nature. So that's where we wanted to target first. And it's been a great start. We're, we haven't even hit the one year anniversary yet, as you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're off to a great start and we just couldn't be happier to be yeah. associated with all the towers out there. So thank you. And we've been hearing great feedback from our members as well. Um, so, you know, I, I've only heard amazing things coming out of the, uh, the tow comp program. Um, That's good to know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we appreciate the feedback. So please, I know Michelle, who you know, who mm-hmm. does our marketing in our office, she's big on, you know, give us a review on Google, you know, all these type of things. So we love the feedback. So I'm right. glad you mentioned that. Yeah. So thank you. Absolutely. Only good things. Um, so we were talking a little bit about the CTTA involvement. Um, yes. I know that, uh, you know, Shergi uh, Insurance has had some some deep involvement in a lot of our events and uh, have offered quite a bit of support to our association. Um, you guys were our central sponsor of uh, National Move Over Day 2018 in the right. San Leandro Marina. Um, Dan was, that was a great event. Not only just cutting checks to support the event, Dan was actually there. He yeah. showed up. He was there setting up chairs with me and, and the food on, and the food <laughs> and getting everything set and just making sure right. everyone was there and having a good time and uh, spreading the message and helping us spread that move over message. So, thank you for that. Dan. You're welcome. You're well, I'm, I, and it was our pleasure to be involved in that. It's it's something that people really need to understand mm-hmm. as well. And if just the drivers out there and. You know, we we appreciate being part of that. Yeah. So thank you for having us. No, awesome. Um, I know you guys also show up at all of our, you know, most of our chapter meetings. And we try, uh, yes. That's a good place to meet Dan. So if yes. a chapter meeting comes up, uh, there's a chance, pretty good chance that Dan will be there to talk to. Um, so it also... Talking about involvement with CTTA, American Toman Showplace coming up this May in Las Vegas. CTTA will be there. Shergi Insurance going to be there as well. I think you guys are in booth 225 this year. Correct. Yes. We're going to have our own booth there. We're going to try to hang out the CTTA That's right. booth as well, too, <laughs> to see a lot of our friends as well as just to introduce ourselves. So please feel free to uh, stop by our booth, say hello. We're actually going to be doing some uh, great uh, giveaways. We're going to be giving some great giveaways. And we're also going to run a contest that if we can't beat your premium that you have right now, we will give you a $100 bill. So bring in your current policy for workers' compensation. We're going to have underwriters there that will give you a quote to see if we can't beat it or not. So you heard it here first. That's amazing. $100 bill. So we will advertise this a little bit more with some uh, MailChimp that we do to the members. But I wanted everyone to understand that. So please come by our booth 225. Well, that's pretty awesome because that kind of sounds like a win-win to me. If you show up and you can beat the coverage they have, win. Right. Awesome. Exactly. If they can't, they'll give you a $100 bill. You know, that's a win-win. Hit the tables. Go gamble. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Do something with it. We're right. in Vegas. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to be having a lot of stuff going on there too, and uh, including the Industry Leaders and Awards Nights, our fifth annual event uh, this year. Uh, we'll be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the association. And as Dan and I were talking about before shooting this, uh, uh, we have something very big to auction off as part of that evening. We've got a, a Dodge Wrecker with a Jordan aluminum body uh, to uh, auction off that evening on May 10th. And uh, Dan will be in attendance. He'll yes. be there. So come yes. say hi. Come. Bid on a Wrecker. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yep. Just looking forward to meet everybody. So please stop by. Just introduce yourself if nothing else, and if we can help you, great. Thank you. No problem. Let's yeah. steer back a little bit towards the insurance side yeah. a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about the background of TOCOMP. Um, Benchmark Insurance. Correct. They're the company behind the program, correct? Right. And they're a large company, so maybe some of the tow companies haven't heard of Benchmark, but they've been in, they're, they're a national company. They're based in Minnesota. Uh, in California, they're currently writing about $150 million of workers' compensation, which is significant. Wow. That's a good sized company. They're, they've got the A rating that all the certificates are needed for whether you're working with CHP or freeway service, you know, the FSP. We, we meet all the requirements that we've been thrown at with all the different uh, tow companies. So please give us a call and uh, we can see what we can do for you. Gotcha. So, you know, a lot of our members, obviously, they're in business, they have insurance. Mm-hmm. What sets Shergi Insurance apart from other 
companies out there doing the same work? Yeah, we're very active. So we like to tell everyone that it's a team effort with your insurance for workers' compensation. And and one thing I, I tell everyone is, I know we were mentioning Benchmark Insurance Company, and if they're listening, I'm apologizing right now, but they don't pay us when when we get your business. It's you, the customer or client, that is really paying us brokers. So our loyalty is to work for you. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of you and we are looking after your best interest. So what I mean by that is one of the things that we do is an introduction to our claims team that's within Chergy Insurance. Mm. And what I mean by that is this is where it's much different. We educate your rights as a business owner of the knowledge you're allowed to get. Most people think, hey, I file a claim. Um, and once I do that, the insurance company takes it and I don't have any say. That is not true. That is not true. So what we do is we encourage uh, feedback from the client to let us know, hey, are they keeping their doctor's appointments for their visits? If they've been released, get us that, that release form. We'll go to the insurance company, get those claims closed on your behalf. Heaven forbid there's litigation and attorneys get involved. You have a right to attend the depositions. You can dispute um, exaggerations of their work conditions, things right. of that nature, where they're saying they force me to do this. They make me lift this much. And if you, that's not the case, you have a right to dispute that. So you can attend these depositions. And it sends a message to the injured worker that may be trying to sue you to get the big windfall mm-hmm. of workers' compensation and his attorney or her attorney. Right. That one, you're there to fight. So attorneys, let's be honest, are lazy with workers' compensation. They want the easy settlement. They're going to try to throw against the wall what they can to get as much money, but they really don't want to work for it. Right. They don't want to go to court. They don't want to see someone that's really going to put up a fight. So right there at the depositions, we've seen in the past couple of years – um, and, and Terrence Avedra does our claims oversight, probably about a 70% um, settlement ratio when you show up to attend these. Wow. So that's one thing on our end that we're letting the client know, hey, do you have a manager that can go down or the owner or the supervisor, whoever it may be, that can attend these depositions because they are very powerful on, in your court to try to get the upper hand on the claim. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And on top of that, um, with the litigation, one thing that people may not know, and we're talking workers' compensation, but we will ask our clients, do you want a voluntary resignation as part of the settlement of this claim? Now, this blows a lot of people away. They didn't know that they could do that. So if they're suing the company, the way I look at it is they're suing the owner and and the the industry as a whole. So why do you really want this individual back? Now, I know there's a few exceptions where attorneys get involved and maybe there's a little miscommunication of why it happens. But the majority of the time we're asking, do you want a voluntary resignation? So as part of the settlement, it'll be a little side agreement to get the claim closed. And now you don't have to worry about this employee any longer. Right. And we're talking workers' comp, but on the liability side... The liability carriers love it because now we've eliminated a potential problem that could fall on that insurance as exactly. well. Interesting. Keeping yeah. the house clean sort of. Exactly. Yeah. So these are the, what we're talking about right now. Mm-hmm. Your rights as, a, as an owner and what you can do to help on a claim. These are things that really differentiates Chergy Insurance as well as Benchmark. And, and getting back to Benchmark... They have the smallest caseload of any insurance company that we deal with for workers' comp. And what I mean by that is each claims adjuster has a maximum of 80 cases. A typical insurance company, and I'm going to say our competition that we deal (laughs) against, uh, will have up to 150 cases. Wow. That's that's almost double or, or is double the number of cases that, uh, benchmark handles. And they are tough on fraud. Um, as we mentioned, when attorneys get involved, we can send out investigators to follow them. If we think that they're working somewhere else or playing softball or soccer or bowling leagues, whatever it may be. Yeah. That's interesting that their cases are capped, you know, similar to like, you know, teachers in classrooms. I 
much better one-on-one and personal boutique time with, uh, you know, 15 students than if I had 40 in a classroom. I'm not going to get to all of them in the day and help them out. So um, that's a really interesting point. Right. Mm -hmm. So Taryn in our office, as I was mentioning, and we have a couple other lovely ladies that are sister too with some reports that we get to our clients as well. And we try to get these reports at least quarterly so the client's aware of what's happening. Even if there's zero claims, zero activity, we want them to know that, hey, we're, we're looking out after your best interests. We're, we're following up. We're, we're letting you know that we're still watching your, your file, even though there hasn't been a claim reported. But Taryn, you know, she has direct access to the claim notes mm. with Benchmark within our office. So if someone calls us and wants to know what the latest is happening with a particular claim... Uh, 99% of the time, she can look up into the system right then and there, know what's going on. But Benchmark also knows that too. So we're the squeaky wheel Mm. getting the oil to make sure our claims and our files are being taken care of to get your claims closed quickly. Gotcha. So much more of an active presence with these companies than a passive, uh, we wrote your insurance and now we'll just kind of let it run and sit back. So that's, that's nice to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, awesome. Again, it gets back to what I was saying is the client is the one that really pays us. Yeah. So we want to make sure we're taking care of the client. Not necessarily the insurance company. Dan, that makes too much sense. (laughs) Way too much sense. I know it sounds so simple, but you know, there's, and and, you know, as you as a consumer, whether it's, you know, the workers' compensation, your liability insurance, health, whatever it is that you're purchasing, you know, you, you, sometimes you need to take a step back to ask yourself, is that really what's taking place with the particular vendor that you're working with? Right. So on that note, um, you know, some, Maybe some consumer tips for our, our towing companies out there. Um, what are what are some red flags to look for when you're out there shopping for insurance? Um, things that you, as Dan Shergi of Shergi Insurance, would cringe at. Right. Um, one thing that I always ask the the prospect or potential client is, "Hey, who's your current broker? Are they going? Do you get a list of who they're going to shop?" On your behalf. Mm. And again, that's whether it's the workers' comp liability, whatever it may be that we're talking to them about. And so you should know as the consumer, is is your broker really working for you to get all the options that are available? And some of them may be terrible options, but at least you know that they were looked at on your behalf. So that's probably step number one. Um, Number two is, as I was mentioning, the communication that we're giving our clients on a regular basis are you getting that Mm. i mean if the your broker is one that just comes out one time a year and that's renewal time here's the the quote you know and it doesn't look like they're shopping for you then maybe you need to ask yourself we should maybe take a look and see what other options are out there and while we're talking about that um our particular program for the workers compensation as you know but maybe the the consumer or the towers out there don't know it, it is an exclusive program. It's not out to every brokerage out there. We are working with a couple brokers, mm-hmm. which which uh, the board was aware of and actually asked us to make sure that we had coverage through the entire state. And uh, so we did partner with a couple select brokers um, that were ethical, had a good reputation. We really vetted them to make sure that they were going to be a good fit for Excellent. our program. Because we're here for the long term. Right. Yeah. Right. We're not here to just write everybody. We grab cash exactly. and go. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. And that's yeah. not how our program is going to survive and succeed. And nor is it in the best interest of the of the tow company or the consumer. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so going back to... Uh, the beginning, we're talking about uh, as you start to expand the company a little bit, um, mm-hmm. we're talking about moving into some other territories as well, correct? Well, for for most everyone that's listening, we we have a California presence. We're covered all over, but please give us a call, whatever the number is down below Go <laughs> that Eric's going to put up there. But we are expanding our program into Arizona and Nevada. Uh, interesting. I will give a big compliment to the CTTA. This the, the reason this all started was we received a phone call from out of state um, as someone was looking at the CTTA website, saw our company, and they actually asked us to come into the Arizona market. Oh, wow. So uh, again, another state that's underserved. Mm-hmm. There isn't enough competition. There isn't enough options for 
the tow companies out there. And that's what prompted it. We, we've, we're we in the state right now of Arizona and Nevada. We have not advertised it at all mm-hmm. right now because we are, again, as you know, we like to go slow, methodical. We want to get our ducks in a row. We're working with Benchmark there to make sure that we're going to bring a good product just like we did here in California. Mm-hmm. We don't want to rush into it. Um, even though some of the companies, you know, may have the renewal date have passed begging us to do so, we, we want to do it the right way. Yeah. And so that's why we're doing that. So that's kind of the new. It's exciting. Yeah, that's it exciting. is. And, yeah. and thank you to, you know, California, the CTTA, because, um, if it's your reputation, the way that we set it up, word of mouth, talking to fellow towers in different states. Mm-hmm that allowed us this opportunity. And hopefully it goes well in those states, just like oh, that's it started here in California. Because I was going to say, what, when you yeah. when you introduce the, the tow comp program, are you seeing maybe a shift in the landscape and seeing perhaps prices across the board starting to come down a little bit? And I'm glad you brought that up. So I, I need to look at everyone right now. And I'm not saying this to toot my own horn, but competition helps to... The consumer. I mean, that's mm-hmm. the bottom line. This is like a econ 101, right. you know, in college. So basically what we've done since we've come into the marketplace, when we're looking at the current rates, and I don't care who the insurance company is that they're with right now, current policy, and then we come out with our quote, we're coming in 20 to 25% below the current rates. Now, what that tells me two things. Uh, one, the competition has been taking advantage of the consumer, that they, they have been charging a much higher rate and that needed to be because where we're at, we're very comfortable at the rate. We're not in here to buy the market. At the same time, it woke up some of the other insurance companies, mm-hmm. I'll be honest, and now they're going, whoa, we have competition. We need to start giving rates. So what I, I like to tell the prospective buyer is, are you going to reward the, the company that's been taking advantage of you for the last <laughs> five plus years? Or are you going to reward the newcomer that is doing it the right way, talking to the CTTA, um, talking to its members? We're targeting them. By the way, you, can, you have to be a CTTA member to obtain our, our policy. That's correct. So I've, I've, we kind of left that out. Kind of forgot about that, but yeah, it's an exclusive program, uh, CTTA. If you want to be a part of the program, give CTTA a call. We have membership specials running, so uh, let us know, and then we'll yeah hook you up with Dan. Right. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying mm-hmm. is what I'm trying to tell the consumer is don't reward your, your company that's been taking advantage of you and you've been paying them 20 to 25% more than you should have for the last five years. You add that up, that's, that's a whole year of premium that you could have had for free if they were charging you a lower rate. Give us an opportunity. We just went over the claim service that we're providing. We fight the fraud. We fight the litigation. You want to know what's going on. We're going to let you know what's going on. So give us a call. Give us an opportunity. Let us tell you what's going on. And what's been nice, you were mentioning about these CTTA chapter meetings. Mm-hmm. Now that we're coming around and there's been a couple different meetings and, you know, multiple meetings in different chapters, we've had people step up when we introduce ourselves to say, hey, give this guy a call. He really saved me a lot of money or he fought this claim. And it's nice to get the feedback because that's honestly the best referral we can get Absolutely. is from your peers. Um, we're all good at telling you whatever you want to hear. And we like to say, call our peers, call our clients. I'm always an open book in that regard to say, you know, don't, don't take my word for it. Call these four or five people that are in your area and get their testimony of what's going on. There you go. So there you go. Word yeah, of mouth. That's the best. Exactly. Awesome. Well, Dan, anything else that you want to share with our members before we wrap up here today and I just want to thank everyone again. Give us an opportunity. Please give us a call. We're just looking for a chance, you know, to see what we can do for you. Let you know what we do behind the scenes. And uh, I want to thank the CTTA. You know, we do. We are being asked by a lot of companies. That I know the general liability and the commercial auto rates are going up. Mm. Um, we've been asked by a lot of companies, you know, are, can you quote that for us? And the answer is yes. 
I know we're here talking about the workers' compensation, but we can help you to round out the accounts. And that's pro testimony, again, of how we're doing on the workers' compensation. Everyone said, you know, I'd like for you to be our broker, deal with one office for certificates, coverage, ID cards, whatever it may be, and we can help you out there as well. Awesome. And thank you, Eric. The CTTA has been great. The board has been, um, you know, very... Uh, you know, not without doing their due diligence mm -hmm. and putting me through the grinder. As you know, I've been <laughs> up here from numerous meetings yes. before we got to this point. Yeah, I think we started, uh, the conversation started uh, over a year ago. I mean, started kind of around the time of Vegas last year, the show place. Right. Mistaken, yeah. yeah, it was uh, Vegas is when the ball really got started yeah. because of the various committees wanted to make sure then we got in front of some of the larger committees right and that it did take time but right yeah yeah thank you i mean we've been put through the grinder i think the test <laughs> uh, has has been given to us already and now we just want to show everyone what we can do and, and just give us an opportunity i want to thank my staff um some of our producers that you may get a phone call from rick brown I mentioned Steve Sanders mm -hmm. and Shannon Rohr. Shannon is from the Bay Area, so she's been calling a lot of the Bay Area uh, towers up there, and she's great. Uh, Steve is very knowledgeable. Rick, very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. So we've got a small, dedicated team at Churgy Insurance, but if you just email us, one of us will give you a call back. There you go. For sure. Awesome. Well, we always yeah. appreciate the support that you give to the association and to the towing industry. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to a long and healthy partnership Thank you. for many years to yeah. come. Thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, no problem. So, folks, uh, I'll put it right up on the screen again, uh, the information to contact Cherokee Insurance. Uh, be sure to visit that website as well just to get a little bit better idea. And you can check out the team. Give them a call. That number's there as well. Um, they're available for you. Um, so I want to thank you guys for joining us, and uh, we'll see you in Las Vegas. Come and bid on a new wrecker. It's going to be fun. Friday, May 10th, visit us in booth 48. Dan over in booth 225. We'll be commingling and partying and, and et cetera we as got well. some fun so, stuff in the booth, too. Even if yeah. you don't, don't forget to bring your policy. Let us see if we can't beat it. Again, if we can't, we'll give you a $100 bill right on the spot. Either way, we're going to have some fun stuff. We've got some really neat stuff that we're going to be giving away in our booth. So please take a, a minute to stop by booth 225. Thank there you. There it is. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks for joining us. We will see you next time on the CTTA interview series. Take Thank care. You.